Have you ever been inspired by a leader who just seemed to do things right and moreover, do the right things? They made you believe in a bigger cause and not just the task at hand. Today, I'm gonna to dive into the secret sauce that separates good leaders from great ones. Stay with me to discover how a commitment to ethics doesn't just win trust, it can redefine success. Can one slip, one unethical choice, tarnish a legacy forever? Companies with ethical leaders often outperform their peers. Curious why? And there are leaders whose names resonate with respect even decades later. What's their secret? So how do we define ethics in leadership? Ethical leadership goes beyond just following the rules. It's about setting standards, leading by example, and making choices that might be tough, but are morally right. Being a leader might get you power, but being ethical ensures you wield it responsibly. Why does ethics matter? Well, partly it's about trust building. When leaders are consistent and transparent, people feel secure and are much more inclined to follow them willingly. It's about long-term vision. While cutting corners or moving fast might offer short-term gains, Ethical decisions ensure a legacy of respect and trustworthiness, not just for the leader, but for the whole business. It's about having a positive work environment, fewer politics, fewer hidden agendas, and more genuine collaboration. Unethical choices have a ripple effect. Think about those companies that have lost millions or even billions due to unethical leadership decisions, the Enrons of this world. Their reputation, once tarnished, takes years to rebuild, if at all. The case of Enron, they never did. VW have turned it around. Employees, stakeholders and the public remember and react, sometimes by disassociating completely from the leader or organization. There's also a question around profitability and the employee morale, and studies indicate companies with ethical leadership often report better financial performance. This isn't magic, it's not smoke and mirrors, it's because they foster trust, loyalty, and dedication. Ethical companies attract top talent. When employees are proud of where they work, they're much more engaged, productive, and committed. Let's have a look at some historical leaders and their ethical legacies. Nelson Mandela. Even during South Africa's turbulent times, he stood firm on reconciliation, showcasing that true leadership is about healing and unity, not revenge. Mahatma Gandhi. His commitment to non-violence and truth showcased that real power isn't about physical might, but moral strength. There are all sorts of leaders that we could add to this, and think about your own. Just drop it in the comments below, but those are two of the greats, of course. There are certain steps you can take to cultivate ethical leadership. Self-awareness, regularly self-reflect, ask, am I being the leader I'd want to follow. Be open in your communication. Foster an environment where feedback is welcomed and concerns are addressed, not dismissed. Continuous learning. Read, attend workshops, listen to podcasts. The ethics landscape evolves and so should our understanding. Read, read, read. Listen, listen, listen. Watch, watch, watch. Now, ethics might sound like a soft aspect of leadership, but its impact is tangible and lasting. 
If you believe in the power of ethical leadership, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more insights, and share with someone who'd benefit from this message. Don't forget to tap that bell for updates. Let's champion leadership that stands the test of time.